a judgment and assessment on this. This is a clear, of course, a political signal, and we, one can only hope that it will be heard by the politicians and by the political elite of Iraq. That's all what okay. I could say at that moment. إقدام الناخبين على التصويت القليل يقول الكثير ولكن لا يمكنني الآن التعليق أو أن أحكم على هذا الإقبال القبيل الإقبال الضعيف على التصويت ولكن بلا شك إنه يرسل رسالة سياسية نوعا ما وأرجو أن يعني أتمنى أن يتم سماع هذه الرسالة من قبل السياسيين. هل كنتم تتوقعون هذه النتيجة أو هذا الإقبال أن كنتم تتوقعون أكثر ومتى سيصدر التقرير النهائي بشكل مفصل؟ Okay, two questions. The first question is, uh, did you expect that uh, people will turn out so, I mean, so few uh, for, the, for electing? And the second question is, uh, when will you uh, issue the, the, the first preliminary report? Well, I mean, things go the way they are supposed to go, and I think that many more people hope for a different choice. And what I've heard is that the political change was not reflected, let's say, in the list of candidates and parties. Okay. تجري الأمور يعني كما تجري وكما سمعت إن التغيير السياسي لم يكن منعكس بشكل جيد في قائمة المرشحين الموجودة. I would say the security issue is of course threatening to many people, but what we have seen today is that the state security did everything to provide the best security you can okay. do under the current circumstances. But of course, people with disabilities, for them it is sometimes difficult to reach the polling station if they have to walk almost a kilometer to come to the first checkpoint. ولكن هناك بعض المشاكل الأخرى مثل الأشخاص ذو الإعاقة حيث يتوجب عليهم المشي لمسافات طويلة مثل واحد كيلومتر لوصول إلى مركز الاختراع والتصويت. So asking the turnout, I would say some reasons are political and some reasons are structural. Okay. And yeah. لذا بخصوص سؤالك حول الإقبال الضعيف للمصوتين والناخبين بعض الأسباب ربما تكون سياسية والبعض الآخر هي أسباب تتعلق بأمور فنية. And your second question, we will keep the the date and the the time as it was. It is eleven o'clock Tuesday in the no in the Babylon. No, Al Rashid. Ah, you changed the Al Rashid. Eleven o'clock on Tuesday. Will the preliminary statement with quite a lot of explanation. أما بخصوص سؤالك حول إصدارنا التقرير الأولي فسوف يصدر على نفس الوقت المعلن عن يوم الثلاثاء الساعة الحادية عشر في فندق الرشيد في مؤتمر صحفي. So now we have three or more. So let's see. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Here's the question. The question is: In the presence of Kharkov, are there some groups that have joined the protests during the election? Okay. The second question is: In the presence of Kazakhstan, are there some groups that have joined the protests during the election? Okay, so there are two questions, both uh, he wants comments. The first uh, question is about regarding Kharkov. Uh, in some areas, uh, ISIS members are uh, provided with biometric card and they were able to vote, as, but although they are requested by the law. Uh, the, so what's your comment on they this? They are eligible or not eligible? Are they provided well, they are or not provided? They are ISIS members. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the second question is uh, in Sinjar, uh, PKK, uh, stopped from voters uh, voting for the other party. So what is your comment about that? Well, the first, um, I cannot make any comments. What kind of people receive biometric cards or not, this is not up to me to make any assessment of this. This is clearly a case for IHEG and the appeal court. Okay. بخصوص السؤال الأول لا يمكنني التعليق حول من يقوم باستلام بطاقة البيومترية ومن لا يستلمها هذا الموضوع متعلق بمفوضية عليا مستقل الانتخابات. In the second case, you have asked if PKK has blocked the road or access. This is clearly a question to the Iraqi security. It's not up to the chief observer of the election 
اما بخصوص سؤالك حول قيام حزب العمالي الكردستاني بمنع بعض الناخبين من التصويت لاحزاب اخرى فهذا السؤال متعلق ب الاجهزه الامنيه لماذا يعني اين اين الاجهزه الامنيه هذا السؤال لا لا يكون موجه الى رئيسه البعثه وانما الى الاجهزه الامنيه بات اوف كورس اف ذس از ترو وي ويل تيك ذس انتو اكاونت اند وي ويل بوت ذس اولسو ان اور ريبورت اس وي تراي تو كفر اس ماتش اس وي كان ان ذا فاينل ريبورت ات ويل بي لايك 25 30 pages and it will be then presented um, uh, two months after yeah. the election. ولكن بالتاكيد ان اذا كان الامر هذا صحيح فسوف يتم الاخذ بعين الاعتبار وتضمينه في التقرير النهائي الذي سيكون متكون من من 25 صفحه الى 30 صفحه. You already mentioned that uh, there is no turnout for the election and you cannot make any judgment for that but I was wondering uh, for your assessment uh, for international community assessment, if the credibility, uh, how that will uh, will assess the credibility of the election, if, if the, the the turnout will be just 10% no. as we see for no, yeah. Well, I don't know how this will be at the end of the day, how low or how high the final turnout and the numbers are. But of course it is very unfortunate that um, there was a lot of preparation there was a lot of investment into these elections and everyone hoped this might be a turning point also on the democratic path for Iraq. So people have not used that, people were not ready, people were not convinced by the political offer, by the choice. One might uh, draw its or his or her consequences. You can concentrate on the question. Yeah. Um, regarding the, 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 the devices that was uh, that were mm -hmm. uh, corrupted or they did not uh, stop, uh, they did not work at all. Uh, so, what is your uh, comment on that, and also the procedures for the elections that's going uh, on still? Well, I mean, uh, the devices who might be broken, uh, what we have seen, they were pretty safe in terms of security, in terms of cyber attacks, in terms of any external uh, fraud. So I think if mistakes um, um, appeared, uh, they can be solved by the local um, IHEC committee. They can be, as you say, fixed. Or they can be, oh, I mean, re, 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 uh, replaced. Yeah, yeah. If it happened to any or any device, like we said earlier, you can ask them from the company. They have a special technical team for this, and even for the device itself. But of course, another problem is, and that might also lead to a lower turnout, that some biometric uh, fi or fingerprints didn't match with the biometric cards mm. due to health issues. And I think this is also a question one must uh, tackle when you think about uh, accessibility for, for the voters. ولكن هناك مشكلة أخرى أيضا كانت هي حول البصمات وعدم تطابقها مع البصمات الموجودة في الجهاز الخاصة بالبطاقة البيومترية مثل ما سمعنا هنالك بعض المصوتين الذين قدموا للتصويت ولكن لم تظهر بصماتهم في الجهاز بسبب بعض أمراض أو مرض السكري أو غيره ربما هذا له علاقة بالإقبال الضعيف للناس للتصويت But otherwise, I mean, if you look through all the polling stations the uh, election committee sitting there, they were well informed, they were well trained, they knew what they are doing. So actually it was technological very much advanced, even compared to Germany, yeah. uh, and it went well. So I mean, for the, from, from their perspective, I think it's nothing to complain. Huh? Yeah. ولكن رغم هذا اذا اذا ذهبت ورايت اعضاء المفوضيه او المراقبين المتواجدين في مراكز الاختراع كلهم مدربون جيدا يعلمون ماذا يتصرفون وكيف يعملون مع الاجهزه مدربين الى الى درجه انه ممكن مقارنتهم حتى مع المانيا يعني انهم متطورين الى الى درجه كبيره لذلك من هذه الناحيه هم جيدون جدا كانوا even in, in Berlin last time, that's the anecdote, anecdote yeah, we had major problems 
regarding our ballot papers. Uh, many polling stations ran out of ballot papers and they didn't print enough and they didn't deliver fast enough. So people had to vote, had to wait for two and a half hours in a queue to, to uh, get the opportunity to vote. حصلت احد المشاكل التي حصلت في المانيا في الانتخابات السابقه لم تكن هنالك اوراق اوراق اقتراع كافيه حيث اضطر الناس الى الوقوف والانتظار لمده ساعتين ونصف حتى يتم طباعه اوراق اقتراع اخرى لتمكن من التصويت. So this didn't happen here. ولكن هذا لم يحصل هنا. Well, thank you very much thank for coming you. for this press point. And we see you on Tuesday at 11 at the Al-Rashid. Thank you very much for coming for the press point. Thank you very much for coming for the press point.